read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is God's Amazing Promise. Abraham is called by God. Genesis 12, 1 to 9 and 15, 1 to 7. Let's read. Abraham lived in a in Haran. Abraham got said, I want you to leave Haran and go to the another land. God didn't tell Abraham where that was. Trust me, God said. So God was um, telling Abraham to leave Haran, right? But God didn't tell where to live, where to go, right? <laughs> See this. Do this, God said, and your children will become a great nation. How? Abraham wondered. His wife Sarah was too old to have a children. Trust me, God said. So... So God said, your your children will be a great nation and Sarah was too old to have a baby and they were so old and they also didn't have children so Abraham wondered Question that God tell Abraham where he was going? Uh, did God tell Abraham where he was to go? No, God didn't tell. God said just leave Haran. Go where I tell you, God said, and you're, you will have more distance than there. They are stars in the sky. They will bless the whole world. Trust me. So God, God said, "Where I tell you, wherever I tell you, go to there, and you will have more distance than the." stars and God said I am promising you trust me right so Abraham trust God he took Sarah his nephew Lot and everything they want. He went there. He went where God told him to go. He went to the land of Canaania. Can and ah uh, and hmm yes. <laughs> so God told. God told to Abraham to go to Canaania, right? And he have gone with his. He took Sarah, his nephew, and Lot, and everything what they had.
See there, you can see the families of Abraham. Oh, sorry. There's a question. There's a question. Question got that Abra would have more distance than there are cows, trees, and the stars. The stars are correct. When he arrived, Abraham camped at Shechem. God appeared to him, "I will give this land to your children." And God said, "Abraham built an altar to God there." So God said, "I will give your this land to you and your children." And so Abraham was thanking to God. So he have built that altar there. Mm, that's very. <laughs> he is building an altar. I don't know why Sarah is kept making a soup. In the first page, second page. Third page also, and fourth page he was riding on a donkey. Not fourth, fifth page. Still, his she's making a soup. Abraham traveled around God's promised land. He was glad that he had trust God, so he built an altar, altar and another altar and gave. Thanks to God for all He had been promised. So He have done two altars, one for because He was glad to trust God, and another altar was for thanking God for promising, been promised. So right, so Abraham also traveled around God's promised land. Oh, now Sarah is not making a soup. Question: Abraham built an altar to God, giving thanks for all he has been promised. True or false? True. Yes. So, like I have read God's amazing promise. Yeah, congratulations. Actually, it is. Abraham is called by God. Genesis twelve one to nine and fifteen one to seven. Yes, did you like that story? And actually, we didn't see the diamonds before, but the diamonds are hidden in the stories. We will find the diamond, right? Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you understand and enjoy? Yes, I really enjoyed. I wish 
God will promise something for me also. Yes, then see you next time. Then bye.